Hello friends, welcome to GT Science Tutorial. In this video, I am going to explain about the electrochemical series and its applications. Electrochemical series is one of the most important part of electrochemistry because it has a lot of applications. It helps us to understand different phenomena in electrochemistry. So in this video, we are going to understand everything about electrochemistry and its applications. So let's start. We can find the value of standard electrode potential of any electrode just by coupling it with a reference electrode such as standard hydrogen electrode that is SHE or calomel electrode. After finding the value of standard electrode potential of every electrode, we can arrange them either in ascending order or in descending order. So the arrangement of the electrodes on the basis of their increasing or decreasing order of standard electrode potential is called the electrochemical series. Let me write the definition of it. The arrangement of the electrodes electrodes on the basis of ascending ascending or descending order of their standard electrode potential is called electrochemical series is called electrochemical series so this is the definition of electrochemical series it is nothing but just the arrangement of all the electrodes on the basis of increasing or decreasing order of their standard electrode potential we have already made a video how we can calculate the value of standard electrode potential of any cell just by coupling it with SHE you can find the link in the description below now as we know what electrochemical series actually is so let's see the electrochemical series chart let me make it over here as you can see I have already made the electrochemical series chart over here. Here the electrodes that I have included are made up of lithium, potassium, calcium, zinc, iron, cadmium, lead, hydrogen. This hydrogen electrode is also called standard hydrogen electrode or SHE that we use for reference electrode and copper, silver, chlorine, fluorine. These are till silver these are all metal electrodes and this chlorine and fluorine are gaseous electrode there were some other electrodes as well i did not write them because i did not have much space over here and the corresponding value of standard electrode potential of all these electrodes are given over here and they are arranged in ascending order ascending order from top to bottom as we are coming from top to bottom the value of the standard electrode potential of the uh, electrode is increasing as it is increasing the meaning of that is the tendency the tendency to lose sorry gain the tendency to gain electrons electrons is also increasing okay so if we are if we compare any two electrodes over here that is suppose we are considering lithium electrode and lead electrode then among them lithium will have greater tendency to lose electrons and this lead will have greater tendency to accept electron we can simply compare to know that okay and here we can see that the uh, yeah, standard electrode potential of hydrogen electrode that is SHE is taken to be 0 and we get all these value by comparing the standard electrode potential of other electrodes with standard hydrogen electrode. So this is what the electrochemical series actually is. Now let's see the application of it one by one. The first application of electrochemical series is prediction of anode and cathode. That means in any cell we can easily know which one will behave as anode and which one will behave as cathode just by seeing the electrochemical series. Let me write it over here. By the help of, by the help of 
इलेक्ट्रोकेमिकल सीरीज सीरीज द एनोड दैट इज द इलेक्ट्रोड एट विच ऑक्सीडेशन रिएक्शन हैपेन्स एनोड एंड कैथोड दैट इज रिडक्शन रिएक्शन हैपेन्स एट दिस इलेक्ट्रोड द एनोड एंड कैथोड कैन बी आइडेंटिफाइड आइडेंटिफाइड फॉर दिस पर्पज we just have to compare the standard electrode potential value of both the electrodes the value of e not for both both the electrodes are compared compared and among them the greater value the electrode with greater value of e not indicates this is the reduction half or this is the cathode of the cell and the electrode with lower value of e not that is standard electrode potential will behave as oxidation half oxidation half or a node of the cell so we can easily predict which one is a node and which one is cathode just by seeing the electrochemical series over there let us take an example suppose we have a cell containing two electrodes uh zinc and copper so let's write the electrode potential value of zinc that is minus 0.76 volt and that of copper cu2 plus cu is given to be how much plus 0.34 volt now we need to know which one will behave as anode and which one will behave as cathode then see which one is greater value obviously this one is greater value right then this will behave as cathode this will behave as cathode and this is the smaller value smaller value and this will behave as anode so this is how we can know which one is anode and which one is cathode now just see if we had a cell containing cadmium and lead as the electrodes then which one would be behaving as cathode yes you are correct lead because its standard electrode potential value is minus 0.13 that is greater than minus 0.40 so just by comparing the value of e not we can know which one will behave as anode and which one will behave as cathode now let's see another application in a redox reaction one of the species displaces another species and with the help of electrochemical series we can easily know which species will displace and which species will get displaced the electrode having lesser value of standard electrode potential will always displace other species so let me write it over here the electrode the electrode having lesser value of e not will displace displace those having having greater value of e not suppose we are considering a cell containing electrodes zinc then e not zn2 plus zn is given to be Minus zero point seven zero volt, right? Sorry, minus zero point seven six volt, and E not Cu two plus Cu is given to be how much? Plus zero point three four volt. Now just see, just see the values. Which one is lesser value? Yes, zinc has the lesser value of standard electrode potential. So obviously, zinc will displace copper. from its solution copper will not be able to displace zinc because it has the greater value of standard electrode potential okay so here here zinc has lesser value lesser value of e not so zinc will displace zinc will displace copper okay zinc will displace copper so the reaction will proceed like this if zinc is uh, reacted with copper sulfate solution cuso4 then zinc will just take the position of copper and it will just 
leave copper will leave this side okay so it will be ZnSO4 plus Cu so this type of reaction will happen over here in ionic form this reaction can be written as Zn plus Cu2 plus because the oxidation state of Cu is 2 plus right so it will come over here it will gain this charge and it will be converted to Zn2 plus plus Cu as you can see over here zinc is just displacing copper from its own solution and that we knew because of electrochemical series that gives us the idea which species will displace other species and which species will get displaced by other species now let's see the third application of electrochemical series the third application of electrochemical series is calculation of the standard EMF of the cell. With the help of electrochemical series, we can easily calculate the value of E0 cell that is standard EMF of the cell. Let us consider a cell having electrodes calcium and copper. So there are two electrodes in the cell. One is made up of calcium and another one is made up of copper. Then from the electrochemical series, we can know the value of E0, calcium 2 plus Ca, that is equal to how much? Minus 2.87 volt and E0, Cu 2 plus, Cu is given to be how much? Plus 0.34 volt. So these are the values that we can know with the help of electrochemical series, right? There is a formula that is E0 cell is equal to the value of standard EMF of the cell can be calculated by using the formula E0 cathode E0 cathode minus E0 anode. So this is the formula that is applied to find the value of E0 cell. This formula can also be written as E0 cell is equal to E0 reduction half minus E0 oxidation half or if the cell notation of the cell is given then we can use the formula E0 right minus E0 left. So we can use any formula the meaning is same we are getting the same value. So let's put the values over here okay this is the formula that we apply in order to find the value of standard EMF of the cell if the standard EMF of the electrodes are given. Then look at here, let's put the values E0 cathode. Which one is cathode? We have already seen it in the first application. See them and find the greater value. This one is the greater value, so this is the cathode. And this one is the smaller value, so this is the anode, right? So let's put the values 0 0.34 minus, minus 2.87. And if we add them, 0 0.34 minus minus will get plus 2.87. So how much will it be? If we add them, then we will definitely get 3.21 volt, actually plus 3.21 volt. So this is the standard EMF of the cell that we calculated with the help of electrochemical series. Now in this way, we can find out the value of standard EMF of the cell containing any of the two electrodes from here just by using this formula. So this was the third application of electrochemical series. Now let's see the fourth application of electrochemical series. The fourth application of electrochemical series is determining the feasibility of a cell reaction. We know that every cell consists of two electrodes. One of them will behave as anode and another one will, will behave as cathode. At cathode reduction reaction happens and at anode oxidation reaction happens. That means at the same time a redox reaction is happening in a cell and if the redox reaction happens over there then there are two possibilities. Either the reaction will be feasible or non feasible feasible. Feasible means spontaneous. That means the reaction is proper. It will happen. Non-spontaneous reaction do not happen. That is non-feasible reaction do not happen. So we make a mistake. Then only we get a non-feasible reaction over there. And so with the help of electrochemical series, we can easily know which cell reaction will be feasible. That is spontaneous and which cell reaction will be non-feasible or non-spontaneous. Let me write it over here with the help of with the help of electrochemical with the help of electrochemical series feasibility of the cell reaction 
can be determined can be determined so there are certain conditions that needs to be followed for for feasible reaction for feasible reaction that is also called spontaneous reaction spontaneous reaction a condition must be satisfied that is the value of del g not that is standard free energy change must be a negative value okay this must be the condition now we have similarly for non feasible non feasible or non spontaneous reaction non spontaneous reaction the value of del g not comes to be a positive value so these are the condition if the value of del g not that is standard free energy change is negative then the cell reaction is feasible or spontaneous that is it will happen and if the value of del g not comes to be positive that is the value of standard free energy change is positive then the cell reaction is non feasible or non spontaneous and there is a formula since we know that del g not is equal to minus n f e not this is a formula or this is also called the bridge between electrochemistry and thermodynamics because this e not is a part of electrochemistry and this del g not is a part of thermodynamics so this formula is the bridge between electrochemistry and thermodynamics so from this formula what we can know over here see if the value of e not is positive then the value of del g not will come negative because of this sign so that reaction will be spontaneous and if the value of e not is negative then this minus minus will give a plus value positive value of del g not and as a result of that that cell reaction will be non feasible or non spontaneous so we can say that if e not is positive then it is spontaneous reaction spontaneous simply means feasible and if e not is negative then it is non spontaneous reaction or non feasible reaction so this is the condition and we can calculate the value of e not cell actually this is for cell okay not particular electrode this is for the overall cell we i have already told you i have already taught in application number 3 how we can calculate the value of standard emf of the cell we can calculate the value of standard emf with the help of this electrochemical series if we have a cell containing any two electrode in the previous case we considered a cell containing calcium and copper electrode in that case the value of e not cell came to be 3.21 that is a positive value and for positive value the cell reaction will be spontaneous so our choice of this electrodes were correct and in case if the value came to be negative then obviously that cell would not work okay because that would be a non spontaneous or non feasible reaction we can make it work just by reversing the elect uh, electrodes that is just make the cathode the anode and anode the cathode if we do that then it will start to work again so now i hope you understood the fourth application of electrochemical series now let's see the fifth application of electrochemical series the fifth application of electrochemical series is determination of del g not del g not means yes you are correct standard free energy change okay so we can easily calculate the value of del g not of any cell with the help of electrochemical series by using the formula del g not is equal to minus n f e not this is the formula by using which we can easily calculate the value of standard free energy change of any cell where this n means number of electrons migrating where this n is equal to number of electrons electrons this f means faraday's constant faraday's constant whose value is 96500 coulomb and this e not cell you already know standard emf of the cell we need to calculate the standard emf of the cell by using the formula e not cathode minus e not anode then we need to put the values in this case so for example for example let's consider a 
cell made up of calcium and copper electrode. We have already considered this. E naught calcium 2 plus Ca is given to be how much? Minus 2.87 volt and E naught Cu2 plus Cu is given to be plus 0 0.34 volt. Now to calculate the value of E naught cell, E naught cell is equal to E naught cathode minus E naught anode, right? Cathode means the greater value that is 0 0.34 minus minus plus 2.87, it will give us 3.21 volt. So this is the value of E naught cell for a cell made up of calcium and copper electrodes. Now we need to calculate the value of del G naught. This is our main motive, right? So now let's put the value over here. Then it will be del G naught is equal to minus N into F into E. Here we need to know the value of N over here. It can be known by knowing how many electrons are being migrated. So among them, obviously calcium will behave as oxidation half. So Ca will lose two electrons and it will convert to two electrons and copper ion will gain two electrons and it will give us copper metal. So this reactions will happen at uh, anode and cathode respectively. There are two electrons being migrated so in place of and we need to put two. So it will be minus two into F means nine six five double zero into E naught cell sorry E naught cell. E naught cell means how much 3.21. 3.21 and if we put these values in calculator then we will get 615 615 sorry 619 530 volt so we get this value when we put these in calculator so in this way we can calculate the value of standard free energy change of any cell by using the electrochemical series and in this case we got this value sorry there should be a minus sign as well so this is the value of standard free energy change and as the value of del g naught is negative then obviously this is spontaneous reaction or feasible reaction so this is the fifth application of electrochemical series now let's see the sixth application of electrochemical series the sixth application of electrochemical series is determination of equilibrium constant of a cell reaction. So with the help of electrochemical series, it is possible to get the value of equilibrium constant as well. And that is used by a formula. Let's see what that formula is. First of all, we need to know, we know there is a formula that is minus del G naught is equal to N F E naught. This is the bridge between electrochemistry and thermodynamics. Let us consider this to be equation number one. Similarly, there is another formula also that is del G naught is equal to R T L and K. Equation number two. This K means equilibrium constant. This R means universal gas constant and this T means the absolute temperature. Now, these are the two formulas that are known. Okay. Now, we can equate them because the left hand sides are equal then obviously right hand sides are also equal so from from equations 1 and 2 we can simply equate them and it will give us rt ln k is equal to n f e naught cell right now to get the value of k we need to take these values to other side it will be ln k is equal to n f e naught cell by rt and therefore k will be equal to nt ln and f e naught cell by rt right or simply in exponential you can write in in exponential so this is the formula to calculate the value of k that is equilibrium constant of any cell and for this we just need to find out the value of this e naught cell and this n let us consider an electrode made up of cadmium and copper. So E naught cadmium is provided to be minus 0 0.40 volt. Similarly E naught Cu2 plus Cu is also is given to be plus 0 0.34 volt. And if we calculate the value of E naught cell for these electrodes, then you can easily calculate now. We have already learned it in uh, application number 3. Just add them. 0 0.34 plus 0 0.40 it will be 0 0.76 volt actually positive value it will be have a positive value 
right so this is the value of e not sale of a of a cell containing cadmium and copper electrode now let's put this value over here and as you can see 2 plus is written over here then obviously two electrons will migrate okay so the value of n will come to be 2 or you can write the oxidation half and reduction half reaction there also you can find the value of n so let's put the values now since k is, k is equal to nt ln nt natural log n means how much 2 into f means how much 96500 into e not cell 0 0.76 by r means 8.31 into t means how much absolute temperature means 298 we are considering the standard temperature over here now if you put these values in the calculator then you will get 1.072 into 10 to the power 25 this is the value of equilibrium constant of this cell reaction the equilibrium constant of the cell containing cadmium and copper electrode so this is the required value so with the help of electrochemical series we can even find out the value of equilibrium constant isn't that interesting now let's see the last application that is the seventh number the seventh application is prediction of reaction of metal with acids to liberate hydrogen with the help of electrochemical series, we can know which metal will be able to liberate hydrogen by reacting with the acids. So here, what we know, just see this. This is the value of elect standard electrode potential of standard hydrogen electrode. So any electrode whose uh, E0 value is less than this will be able to liberate hydrogen by reacting with acid and other electrodes whose value is more than 0 will never be able to liberate hydrogen by reacting with acids. So let me write it over here. The electrodes, the electrodes having, having the value of E0 less than less than 0 that is e not less than 0 will be able to will be able to react react with acid and and liberate liberate hydrogen the electrodes the electrodes having the electrodes having the value of E0 more than 0 that is E0 more than 0 will not be able to react with acid and liberate and liberate hydrogen so for the metal electrode to react with acid and liberate hydrogen it must have the value of e naught that is standard electrode potential less than zero or simply you can say less than the value of standard hydrogen electrode so in this way we read the seven applications of electrochemical series i hope you understood everything about electrochemical series and the application of electrochemical series that's all in this video. If you like the video, please share this video as much as you can. And thank you for watching the video.